wanted to show you um, wanted to show you how I'm set up for tonight. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. So I'm going to go take a shower and that means I will have to do all new dressing, which is going to be the Acept and then um, sterile, sterile, and then my island dressing there, the bottom. Um, so that's set. So I take a shower, I come back and I do that first. Then I'm going to switch over here to this and I'm going to have to put my um, fibrin, a uh, fibrin. I'm going to have to put my heparin um, into my bag. There's my little thing. I put it under here so it wouldn't be out in the air. Um, and I use Alcavis on top of there for two minutes and on, on that part for two minutes. And there's my needle. And then I'm good to go. And then I do my regular exchange where I have to disinfect. Here's my clamps, my um, caps, my Alcavis. So yeah, it's an interesting um, about 30 minutes of setting up, <laughs> not setting up, but 30 minutes of um, 30 minutes of all my goodies and the steps in which I need to go so that I stay sterile and safe and um, get some of that dang heparin inside me again. <laughs> All right, hopefully I am in bed before, oh, it's only almost 10, so not too late, um, 11, because I'm pretty tired tonight. So, okay, bye-bye. Hi, so I finished and I got upset and cut my hair. <laughs> it is what it is. It'll grow back. Um, I'm going to head out to my thing pretty soon, so I'll catch up with you guys later. I feel much better. I think after venting my feelings, I just feel better. <laughs> you guys have to put up with me, I guess. Um, I did drain, and I was like 24, and that's so good. Like, why not? So I'm excited about that. And um, tonight I will get home and I'm actually going to drain again, probably about eight o'clock. Hopefully that's 24, 25. And then um, I'll be drained early tonight, which will be good. So kind of digging it. You can tell my long hair is still there. I just pulled it all back. I'm wondering though, maybe I should cut it. I think it's cool because like, Anything I do different to myself makes my face change. I used to hate my face. <laughs> um, and I always wore makeup, but not as intentionally as now. And I had a very low self-esteem at one point. Um, and there's times still that I kind of feel like that. But for the most part, I feel pretty great. Um, Maybe that comes with wisdom. Like, can't be perfect. I don't want to be perfect. And it's cool to just have a unique face and personality. So I think that's what... <laughs> wow, this like really has changed my face. I'm just kind of shook a little bit because it's like, wow. Oh. Um, I have a lot of different views and I have a lot of different pictures of myself. That's just me, but you change my, you change my hair slightly and it's like I'm a whole different person which I think is really cool um, there was a time that I did not like myself and I did not take pictures I did not even look in the mirror I went through a phase where I had literally no mirrors I covered all of them I didn't want to see who I was and the reality is is that I didn't like who I was because I was being mistreated so I believed all the garbage that I've ever heard in my life about who I am how I am how I think how I behave I thought somebody was at the door um, and so I, it took me a long time to get over that and to realize like I am who I am and I don't need to measure myself to anybody else like I can just be me but it's hard still 
Um, I think girls naturally compete. And I'm trying really hard to develop a crew of people or a kingdom of people or a squad of like-minded people surrounding me that don't care. Like, let's just be who we are and not be so judgy and competitive with one another because there's, there's flaws in all of us and there's beauty in all of us, regardless of you're like five years old to like 55 or 95. Like, I just think it's incredible to really learn things from older folks like my grandma that I don't have anymore. I miss her because she would tell me stories of the of the days in Bisbee. And I cherish that. Like, I, I didn't have a problem ever listening to her about stories. So I guess, like, we just need to really help each other love, e love ourselves and then help each other, like, love one another. Because life's so short, you know, and... We need to be there for each other, especially girls, girls with girls, like guys will be distracted. <laughs> and, um, I mean, you know, we can easily distract a man and he'll be like, oh yeah, I love you. But I think girls with girls, like we need to help each other to build a foundation of goodness. And also for the next generation, like I have nieces and they're starting to put on makeup and it's just really cute. But I was trying to remind them, like, you look so beautiful without makeup. And I remember being young and, and thinking like, no, I don't, you know, but now I look back and I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> so I think like for our daughters, for our nieces, um, for our friends, kids, you know, just the next generation in general. Um, even guys, like, just chill, man. Just enjoy your youthfulness and your adventures and your stumblings and your learning new things, you know, like, explore life. Um, but we definitely need to uphold each other and just keep each other um, in high regard and respect. So, I guess that's it. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Ugh, these are going to drive me crazy in like a day. <laughs> I'm going to be like, why did I do this? Which is why my hairdresser never does it. She's always like, no, we're not doing bangs on you. <laughs> All right, but I'll talk to you later. Bye.